Okay, so say you have three documents. Document 1, document 2, and document 3. Each of them contains some text. And now you want to search all these documents for some query and rank the results by how good do they match the query. So for instance, our query is Ruby on Rails. So the way full text search engines do this, they use the so called vector space model. And what it means for us is that we convert our query into a vector and each of these documents into a vector. There you go. Now you, you use these document vectors to form a matrix. and this matrix is called an index. Now once you have a query vector and an index you can perform a search and the way you do the search is actually very simple. You multiply your query with your index matrix and what you get is another vector which length is equal to the number of documents that you have and each element in this vector shows how many words your query match in each of these documents. So for instance it could be something like this. So 2 means that Ruby and Rails query match 2 words in document 1. 0 means that our query match 0, document, zero words in document 2 and, and 1 means that it matched 1 word in document 3. Now you might be wondering how do we convert text in a vector in the first place so the way to do it is really simple say you have a text python framework in order to convert this text into a, a vector first you need a dictionary and for instance we just have something random ruby python framework web the second thing is to split the string into words so here we go we got python framework now once we have all this data we can start forming a vector. So initially the vector is filled with zeros and its length is equal to the number of words there is in a dictionary. So our dictionary has four words that means there will be four elements in that vector, four zeros. Now the last procedure that you need to do is go through each word in the dictionary and check if it exists in this list that we just created from my text. If it does, then you convert the appropriate element in a vector to 1, and if it doesn't, you keep it as a 0. So say we take the first word from a dictionary, which is Ruby, and it doesn't exist, so we keep it as a 0 here. Then we take Python it does exist so we convert it into a 1 then we take framework it also exists we convert it into a 1 and web doesn't exist we keep it as a 0 so our resulting vector is equal to 0 1 1 0 and that's really it so in the next video I'll just give an example with the real data and you will see how nicely it all gets solved using all these equations.